Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. And I'm Lunchbox. And he's upset because this episode, well, I guess it's kind of an IPA. This is uh, uh Forward. Yeah. This one's Sierra Nevada's uh, Hoppy Anniversary Beer. Okay, now they got this big thing about whenever they started in 1980, 40 years ago, uh, people didn't really, well, the breweries didn't really brew those IPAs and hop forwards, but they did. Um, you know, this one says it's going to be kind of a West Coast IPA. So, whatever that means. Well, that's I, well, I kind of know. Let's crack it. Uh, Sierra Nevada was one of the first, actually Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale was one of the first craft beers that I could get on a regular basis that didn't just taste like the rent regular things that my dad drank. You know, Budweiser, High Life, things like that. So it was one of my first go-to craft beers. Um, I'm interested in I, this. I remember, that they've been around for a while. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's a nice color. That is a nice color and a Warm. good, Good head. Big fat head. Lots of head. I like that though. In case there's anything down there in the bottom there. Get your sediment. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. Um, it's got a nice little nice logo there. This is the 40th anniversary. Cheers to you, Sierra Nevada. There's a little funk on it, but not bad. Yeah. Well, let's see what we got. Definitely taste, smell the hops in it. Okay. It's got an immediate hop taste that dissipates relatively quickly. Yeah, it doesn't stick around too long. Um, it's got a pretty good uh, kind of almost a mildly malty, almost caramelly. Yeah, there's a little of that. Me middle there. Uh, but it's pretty crisp. But it goes away quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, that hop is the first thing that hits you. Oh, though. gosh, yes. Um, but it it did not hit as hard as some of the other IPAs I've had. Right. So that well, that's kind of the mean, hallmark of that West Coast. forward. That's the West so, Coast IPA. Um, yeah, that wasn't unbearable. No. <laughs> It's nice. Uh, I really don't know what the difference is between, like, say, their pale ale or their IPA. I know this is much milder. Yeah, much milder than like their torpedo. Uh, I had one of those not too long ago. I've never had one of those. Yeah, I won't punish you with that. I'll punish somebody else with that. Okay, thanks. Uh, probably get Robbie on that one. That'll be pretty funny. Uh, he's not an IPA guy, so we'll get him on that. Um, but overall, I think it's a it's a fairly tasty beer, but just know, I mean, hoppy anniversary. It is a hop forward beer. Uh, there is quite a few of the aromatic hops and the citrus hops, but there is some of those piney hops. Uh, not not so much the dank resinous hops, but I guess there's a little funk to it, but it wasn't overpowering, no. mm -hmm. and you can't really taste it. No, honestly, I think you smell a little more than you taste. I'd say it's pretty clean for an IPA. It is. And it's gone so quick. Mm -hmm. That's really weird. Uh, it does leave a little tingle on your tongue. I kind of like that. Is that the alcohol? How much alcohol? Is uh, this one's really not that bad. This one's like, I think it's six. Okay. So. Um, there you go. I mean, that's pretty close to what, what we think. Uh, I guess we get down to the rating. Did you dig it? I do. Meh. Okay. The, I have to give this no. one a meh. Would you have another? Probably not, to be honest. It falls into the not unless it's free. Um, yeah, and I mean, it It would have to be like the only thing available. Right. I understand. I'll have another one if I see another one and I can get a decent price. Um, the seekability factor, in all honesty, uh, I got it... Now that I've had it, I'm not really going to hunt it anymore. Right. Uh, it's pick six worthy. Absolutely. Uh, if you are a West Coast IPA fan, I could see getting a six pack of it. Um, but if not, 
you know, this this I'm is not gonna get this is a love letter to their West Coast IPA fans. The guy that's been with them forever. I really like I can that. see that part of it. Yeah. Because, I mean, it is well put together. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just not a fan of the style. No. So. Under, completely understandable. Uh, just like, I'm not really a fan Very of the Very middle of the road for me. <laughs> I have to give this one a five. A five? Um, yeah, it's just, it, I mean, it, it's complete, but it's just very middle of the road. For me, I think it's, it is part of that West Coast IPA that I really give them the credit for that. Uh, I don't know exactly how much they deserve, but to me, that's, when I think of the West Coast IPA, I immediately see Sierra Nevada in my head. Uh, and because of that, and I think this is a beautiful example of that style, I give it a seven. Okay. But I like cops, so right, right. that's me. I understand. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, let us know what you thought down there in the comments. If you give us a like if you enjoyed it, a subscribe if you want to see him have to drink more things he doesn't suggest enjoy. Suggest something better. <laughs> yeah, or just suggest something else you want to see. I've got a couple people do that. So until your next beer adventure, cheers. <laughs> <laughs>